Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Chara Kirk. Hi there. And uh, we're looking at a Ryan George video, the first guy to ever eat dessert. If you guys have yet to subscribe to Ryan George, please do so now before watching this reaction. And maybe, you know, consider checking out this video before watching our reaction. We did an interview with Ryan George some time ago. If you haven't seen that interview yet, there'll be a link in the description below, and there'll also be a button at the end of this video if you stick around. Also, uh, Ryan George is awesome. <laughs> So, if you're unfamiliar with him, he's on Screen Rant doing the pitch meetings, which are fantastic. Legendary. Yeah, um, full disclosure, I started watching this, like, maybe 20 seconds of it, and I'm like, okay, I, 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 wanna, I wanna record my reaction in case it's amazing. So, cause this is awesome, just right at the top. So here we go, this one's called The First Guy to Ever Eat Dessert. I love dessert. Thanks to today's partner, Vessi. More about them at the end of the sketch. Wow, that was a taste, I enjoyed the food, yeah. Yeah, good food that we're finished eating. Really, really good stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What if we kept going? <laughs> oh, I don't know, I'm pretty full. I cannot stress how little that matters to this concept. I'm not sure what you're suggesting. I had this idea the other day, right? What if we keep eating a bit, but just sweet stuff, just sweet. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean by sweet? Anyway, like a piece of fruit? In the same vein as fruit, yeah, but much more elaborate and with none of the nutritional value. Okay. See, I'm starting to suspect that eating sweet stuff releases a very fun chemical in your brain. Isn't that right, brain? <laughs> I can't see your brain. Oh yeah, that's right, you can't see my brain. Anyway, I had this science guy prepare a bunch of stuff. A science guy? Yeah, he's just like a wacky science guy, you know. He made me process and refine these plants until they were nothing but crystals of sweetness. It's not right, it's not natural. Yeah, it turns out that stuff is actually too sweet on its own, so I had him use it to make a bunch of other crazy stuff. <laughs> he threatened my family, you gotta help me. Oh, God, he's such a wacky science guy. Whoa. That was pretty wacky. Ah, okay, so like what's 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 this stuff? Oh, that stuff's real good. That stuff's made with something called cocoa beans. Mm. Oh man, that is amazing. <laughs> oh, it is amazing. I even came up with a catchy name for that stuff. Oh yeah? Oh, you're gonna like this a lot. I thought we could call that good brown stuff. I feel like there's probably a better name than that. Yeah, you're right, I'll figure it out. Okay, hold on, this one has a hole in it. What's going on there? Yeah, you put a hole in the middle of those ones I decided. Get that out of here, no one wants to see it. That's pretty weird. Well, this is actually, I feel like I'm having like a boost of like manic energy here. I feel like I don't need to anymore. <laughs> yeah, 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 that happens for sure. Wow. And that's gonna kind of abruptly end. What? You're gonna suddenly crash, you're gonna be exhausted, it's gonna be awful. Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't seem healthy. Oh yeah, no, this isn't healthy at all. This will probably make you gain some weight pretty fast, maybe develop some diseases, probably best not to eat a lot of it. Well, you know, despite having that information now, I still would like to eat a lot of it. Well, yeah, no, that's because it's all so addictive. That's, oh, this seems problematic. But it releases the fun brain chemicals isn't that right brain i can't see i can't see that right my bad what is go what are these ones oh, oh i don't even know what we were thinking on that one you shaped them like worms why'd you shape them like worms no idea he's insane that's why <laughs> Damn. oh the texture it's all chewy it's chewy it's a fun one to eat how'd you guys do that he made me boil animal skin and tendons what he wanted to see what would happen bones and ligaments too that's why it's chewy shut up shut up science guy oh my god it's pretty good though right despite the bones Thing. I wish I didn't know that information. Okay, tell you what, you want something a little less processed? We actually discovered some other sweet stuff. It's all natural, isn't that right, science guy? Please let me go. Here you go, try a spoonful of this. I bet we can make some other fun sweet stuff with it too. Mm, well, wow, that, no, that is very good. All natural, baby. No bones in this? No, bo no bones, actually made by bees, if you can believe that. This stuff, well, how'd you get bees to make this? Well, they actually, they just kind of regurgitate it. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the astronaut. I'm out here in Ed Space to talk to you about Vessi. So listen, have you ever encountered a wet sock? They absolutely suck. Hi there, hello, I'm a wet sock. I'm just the worst. Just terrible. Well, freaking wet socks are a thing of the past thanks to Vessi shoes. I love Vessi shoes because they're stylish and 100% waterproof. Look at that, you can keep your tissues in there and they will stay dry. If someone asks you for a tissue, you can pull one out of your shoe and be like, here, here's a dry tissue for you. They probably won't take it, but I bet they'll be impressed. Vessi shoes are super comfortable and they make bad weather fun again. You can frolic in the rain and the snow because they keep your feet warm too. There's a whole lot of rain and snow in the world and when was the last time you frolicked? It's tough to frolic in boots. I'm going to frolic so much in these bad boys. Vessi shoes are the perfect gift for yourself or a loved one, especially during the work season. So go ahead and check out the link below for their early holiday special and if you missed that, just use coupon code Ryan George to get $25 off your shoes. Vessi shoes are also sustainably made. Hey, that's my my line. Friggin' wet socks stealing my line. I hate this guy.
That was a genius ad. I, you know, there was a time when I would watch the Ryan George videos and I would just skip the ad, and then uh-huh. I and then I let it play out once, and I was like, oh my god, these are actually really really funny because he does it different every single time. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't realize he was customizing it every single time. It's kind of like our Skillshare right, it's ads. It's kind of like our Skillshare ads. Yeah, we do the same thing with our Skillshare ads. Yeah. And I think it's it's genius that he does it that way because it's uh, engaging. Yeah. You know, it makes you want to watch it. And actually, it made me want to buy them. I'm not even lying. I, um, yeah. I, I bought these sprays a while ago, but I'm, I was too lazy to actually implement the spray. It's a two step process where you like spray one thing and then another thing, and then your shoes will, clothes, whatever you spray it on won't ever get wet again. Like, it'll. How are you supposed to wash them? I don't know. I didn't think about that part. <laughs> well, you don't, they don't get dirty, right? I mean, okay. at least the outside. I don't know. I didn't think about that. So you, Why would you do it on your me clothes? A, you're giving me a broken brain situation. I don't need that. I'm trying to get through this thought. So what I'm trying to say is like, if you did it on your shoes and like ketchup, for whatever reason, were to go splat on it, it would just fall right off. Uh-huh. Because it, it's the same idea. I'm sure yeah. they use some sort of the same technology or something. I got it at Home Depot years ago. Never used it. It's probably no good anymore. But I always have that feeling in the back of my mind, like a video game that's on my shelf I forget to get to. You know, like, oh, I should at some point. Spray my shoes. Spray my shoes mm-hmm. or all my clothes in the closet. I have a bad habit of like just stains right on my shirt. Mm-hmm. We had a dinner with my mom the other day for her um, wedding anniversary and I got, yeah, nice shirt just gone awry. Someone dressed up for dinner I, and someone proceeded to spill sauce on themselves. It wasn't me. About this video, I think that this is a fantastic because he has this cool skill where he can make you laugh while telling you information. I felt personally attacked. (laughs) Why? Because I am a, like, I'm a sweet monster. I love my sweets. I love dessert. And he's, he's telling me all the bad, I'm like, I know, I know, I know I'm addicted to sugar, Ryan George. I know about the sugar crash. It's a drug. I know it's not healthy. I know sugar is like the worst drug you could possibly put in your body. It is. It's a legal drug. It's, it's definitely a legal drug because the other day, not the other day, like, Three weeks ago, my mom brought over these chocolate covered mangoes. And, you know, I think one, one would be good. Yeah. Right? It's hard to eat one, though. And I think I got through the entire bag in about 60 seconds. It was just like, I could not not. And I looked at the thing, and it was the equivalent of a can of Coke. Yeah. And I haven't, in terms of sugar content, and I don't drink Coke anymore, so it was a lot for my body to deal with, and I went into like a deep depression that night. <laughs> it's just like a <laughs> huge sugar crash. And so I told my mom not to buy that for me anymore. I have a hard time, like as a guy, I have a hard time. Women don't get this for some reason. As a guy, I have a hard time having self-control when it comes to food. Mm. And my mom is like, just eat one. I'm like, I can't just eat one. <laughs> it just doesn't work like that. You gotta eat the whole thing or you're not eating. <laughs> like All of it. That's what sugar does to me, so I just try to stay away from the stuff. Yeah, I just like it. I'm definitely one of those people who I would rather not have an appetizer at a restaurant and have a dessert instead, provided they have really nice desserts at the restaurant, like if I had to choose. Because like I also don't have a very huge tummy, but I... I Okay, maybe I do, but like... I didn't say anything. All I do is look at the camera in a very suspicious way. In a very suspicious way. But it's like I have a separate stomach for dessert. So even, what are you, an elephant? Yeah, no, a cow. A cow, a cow has four stomachs. Or a dinosaur? Or is yeah, that three brands? I, I have no idea. But like, I, I have a separate pocket available at all times to eat dessert. So even if I'm kind of full from lunch or dinner or whatever, if you offer me a dessert, I'll be like, okay, let's do this. How many are we having? What's going on? I just realized, like, you ever hear something as a kid and you just keep believing it as a grown up because no one told you otherwise? Like what? Well, I just said something. I, I guess you didn't hear me properly, but I was told as a kid that dinosaurs had three brains. Cause I don't know why, but they had one for their tail. And so, oh. I mean, I don't know if that's, I Maybe never bothered to look that up. on the dinosaur, too, I, ne- I never bothered to look that up, and I'm only just realizing <laughs> this. this is very much a How I Met Your Mother moment, where they've never said a word out loud, and then they do, and it comes out completely wrong, because right. they've only read it their entire life. Yes. And so I'm having that where, with this information where I'm like, I've never said that out loud, and I'm just realizing that's probably false. It doesn't make any sense, but maybe it does. Maybe. I'll look it up after this video. 
to be continued. Anyway, um, that was a fun video. I, I liked how he put it together. And the, the thing that caught me was at the, right at the very, very beginning was when he was like, what if we keep going? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's very much like, for me, I'm totally willing to keep going. The this bump and bump. The bump and bump, that's what I was about to say. Because this morning, Achara wanted pancakes. And so we opened up the app on my phone before we start work. And the app being. The app being. I'm not going to say what that. I'm not going to give him free advertisement. Are you kidding me? They keep messing up my food. Anyway, we look at it and there's like pancakes, there's French toast, there's uh, biscuits and gravy. And she goes, which one do you want? I'm like, just get all of them. <laughs> just get everything. I was and then like, there was are you like sure? a, then there was like a vegan donut. I'm like, get that too. Why not? Yeah, like, just get it all. It was like a donut muffin. I'm like, yeah. are you serious? And he's like, just order all of it. And I'm like, how it's, are we? It's still there. <laughs> how are we gonna eat all of? That? I'm not it's eating all of that. Oh, it'll get eaten. Don't worry. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So you guys, no moral to the story there. Just letting you know how much we eat. <laughs> A lot. Okay, so thanks for hanging out and make sure you subscribe to Ryan George and check out our interview with him if you can. It's a fun interview and it's very insightful as, as to his process of making Super these videos. Super cool guy. Yeah, very, very cool guy. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.